Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Speak English with Helmeen. Today we'll talk about how to handle a business call. We've been working from home for quite some time now and business calls or meetings online have become a part and parcel of our lives and especially those of us who participate in these business calls on a day-to-day -day basis must have observed that occasionally during the course of these calls we come across situations wherein we don't know what to say we fall short of words so today we'll talk about some such situations on a typical business call and also we will learn some english phrases and expressions which will help us handle these situations more impressively and more professionally so let's get started let's say you are on a business call and someone suddenly asks you a question and you don't think you are the right person to answer that question. Suppose you are from the marketing department and someone asks you a question about the sales department. Now you know what's going on there but you don't have complete information to answer that question. What do you say? Do you say I don't know? Do you say I can't answer that question? Well on a business call we should not use expressions like, I don't know, I can't answer that, etc. You can say, well, I'm not the best person to answer that question. And then you can pass this question to someone else. Like, would someone from the sales department like to take this question? So, by using the expression, I'm not the best person to answer this question, you can avoid saying, I don't know, I can't answer that, which sounds very unprofessional. Let's say you are on a business call and someone on the call is giving an idea or a suggestion. Now, if you agree with the suggestion, it's very easy to say, great idea, let's go with it. But if you disagree, how do you say? Can you say, I disagree with you or I don't agree with you? No, that would be harsh. So in such a situation, you can use one of these expressions. You can say, well, I see your point, but I don't understand how we are going to implement this idea. Or, that's a good suggestion, but I don't think this idea would be successful. Or, I see where you are coming from, but I think there will be a few challenges in implementing this idea. All I want to say is, instead of saying directly that you disagree with the other person or you don't agree with the other person you can use one of these expressions like i see your point that's a good suggestion or i see where you are coming from and then you can add your reason for disagreeing that way you can avoid offending the other person and also you will sound more professional suppose you are on a business call and someone asks you something maybe a report some information or some help and you can't give it to him because of xyz reasons how do you say that do you say no i can't give it to you or sorry i can't do that for you instead what you can say is i'm afraid i can't do that for you i'm afraid that information is confidential so by using the expression i'm afraid in your sentence what you're saying what you're doing is you are saying a no in a more pleasing way i'm afraid i can't do it for you sounds much better than sorry i can't do it for you or no i can't do it for you so that's the point there are multiple people on a business call and one of them is speaking but you can't hear him clearly what do you say I can't hear you, please speak louder. Or, I can't hear you, could you speak louder please? Well, you can say that, but a better way of telling the same would be, I can barely hear you, could you speak up please? Or, I can barely hear you, do you mind speaking up please? Speak up is a great expression which is used in spoken English to mean speak louder. So, instead of saying, speak louder, please, you can say, could you speak up, please? That sounds more professional. Sometimes, 
on a business call, there is this one person who keeps on talking on a certain point and never seems to stop. And you want to stop him from talking. How do you say that? Can you say, please stop the discussion. We don't have time. Or please shut up. We don't want to listen to you. No, you can't say that on a business call at all. So how do you express yourself? You can say, that's an interesting point of discussion. But in the interest of time, let's take it some other time. Or let's take it offline. You can also say, that's a good point of discussion. But since we have much ground to cover, let's take it offline. Much ground to cover means much more to discuss. So this way, you don't offend the other person or don't embarrass him. And at the same time, you can move on with the call. You are on a business call and someone asks you something. And you want to answer that question based on what comes to your mind immediately without thinking too much. Let's say someone asks you, what's the employee absenteeism percentage in your company in 2020? And you want to answer that question based on what strikes your memory at that point in time without looking up anywhere. How do you say that? You can say, off the top of my head, the employee absenteeism percentage in my company is 10%. By using the expression off the top of my head, what you are doing is you are making it clear that you are giving the information based on what comes to your mind immediately. And therefore, it may not be 100% accurate. You can also use this expression in this way. Let's say someone asks you, What's the customer satisfaction percentage of your product? And you can't say that immediately. How you express yourself is, you can say, off the top of my head, I can't give you that information. I have to look it up in the records. So this way, you can express yourself more professionally and more impressively. So that's all for today. If you've learned anything from this video, Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.